Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden is criticizing President Trump's rallies. Biden was in North Carolina last weekend where he held a drive-in campaign event with social distancing in mind. In a statement sent to our newsroom today, Biden said in part President Trump is, quote, continuing to spread deadly misinformation about the virus and holding rallies that fly in the face of North Carolina's COVID-19 guidelines, adding, quote, he has given up on his responsibility to get this virus under control. Biden's running mate, Senator Kamala Harris, also visiting North Carolina today, making a stop in Asheville and multiple stops in Charlotte, visiting small businesses before a campaign event in Uptown. WCNC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes is live with that part of our team coverage. Tanya, there's no big crowd for this event, and that's by design. Absolutely, there could not be more of a stark contrast. We're here at the Knights ball field, and I want to show you how far you even have to look to see the group that's gathered here. We counted, there's probably about 150 people who are sitting there. Groups are spaced out in their seats. The majority of people who we've seen here are wearing masks. The Harris event is closed off to the public, and that's intentional, saying they do not want to take any chances in the midst of a pandemic. Temperature checks and COVID screenings for the small crowd gathering in Uptown, preparing to see Senator Kamala Harris. Harris in Charlotte for a get out the vote event closed off to the general public. The campaign keeping things small as they crisscross the state. Harris calls must win for the White House. We need North Carolina and that's why I'm here. Harris in Asheville earlier today, stumping outdoors before a group of about two dozen people, all in masks. 13 days to go and we cannot spare a minute. Harris saying our economy and our health and well-being are on the line, and so is the future of America. It's about fighting for the soul of our nation. It's about knowing we deserve more and we are better than this. I am so excited to see you. When she arrived in Charlotte, Harris stopped at a black-owned clothing and shoe store, speaking to the owner about how he uses his business as a platform to connect to the black community. Worship wouldn't be you without you. Meanwhile, the reverend who'll be introducing Harris today, a descendant of Confederate General Robert E. Lee, says unity is very much on the ballot this year. We recognize that right now in this country there is a fight uh, about what is uh, acceptable and what is not acceptable. As a descendant of Confederate General Robert E. Lee, it has been my life's work thus far uh, to ensure that there be a different future uh, rather than the past that was filled with racism, with bigotry, and with hatred. And we know here in the Tar Heel State, there is often a razor thin margin between red and blue and which candidate is going to take it home. This event here for Kamala Harris is expected to get underway in about 40 minutes. And you might recall she was actually supposed to be here last week, but had to postpone the event because she had two staff members who tested positive for COVID-19. Oh, yeah. Reporting live that. in Uptown, I'm Tanya Mendes, WCNC Charlotte.